Excuse me, sir. What will happen in over time? Yeah, bitch. It's time to trap. Hi everybody. To start things off, um, I had a comment on my last video. The young lad was asking, I don't even know if he's young actually. I'm assuming he's young because he wants to ride an LXR and it's a CBT licensed bike, so assuming. Either which way, he's asking if I'll do like a review video while the bike's stationary, which I've got no problem doing at all. Definitely will do it. Um, the only trouble I've got with that is finding the time for it. As soon as I have, sorry, I'm burping. As soon as I have got the time for it, I will do it. 100% but to do that I've kind of got to um, clean the bike which I haven't really done I have ACF 50 the fuck out of it when I first got it because obviously I'm riding in the winter it's just a clever thing to do um, the other day I ran out of ACF50 so I used TT85 which is also just as good um, but yeah it wants me to cover things like insurance, comfort, top speed, little things things some other people ain't covering people are doing quick reviews on them Obviously, because I own one, he wants me to test rideability, I suppose. See what it's like as a daily commuter and bits and bobs, which I will definitely do. I've got no problem doing that. So, I did see a comment, I will be doing that. It's all good. Um, that sun is blinding me. Pull down my sun visor. There we go. What's this Skoda doing? Roomstar? You drive in a room. Well done. A um, couple of things I'm waiting for from Chinese motorcycle parts online. A uh, black visor, a CP1, Lextech CP1 exhaust. Got some frame sliders coming. Just little bits. Just make a look a bit nicer. I really want to get the fucking L plates off, but I don't know how that's going to fare with the police, because obviously I am still only CVT'd. I am going to be doing my A license, because I'm over 24. I'm going to say how old I am, but I am over 24. Um, yeah. Ah, uh, you fucker. Go now. And I'm going again. Another thing that surprised me is I haven't been pulled over on this yet. And that's really, really surprised me. Because it's so big, and I'm on L plates, and fucking police love to pull people on L plates just to make sure that they've got all their documents. Who puts a fucking van there? And a central medium. That would have probably hurt as well. Oh well. You can't win them all, does. Yeah, other than riding this thing to and from work, I don't. 
really go to many places. I wish I did. I wish I had enough time to go more places. That sirens I saw there. Yep. Wanker. Why fucking speed up when you can see sexual reservations to someone trying to overtake you? Dickhead. Actual fucking dickhead. People like that to get their fucking wing mirrors punched. Hold tight, fool again. <laughs> really don't think you do. I mean, don't get me wrong, top end is beautiful. If you go on motorways, or long stretches and dual carriageways and things like that, I don't. Got no need for it. And that's part of the reason I went for this bike, other than a Yamaha or a Honda. Because I don't really need a fat amount. I mean, you've seen I've got overtaking power. That's all I really need. As long as I can do some overtaking, I'm happy. Bet you're coming over, aren't you? You fucking idiot. Pick a fucking lane, you cunt. Get in the right fucking lane, dickhead. No, I wasn't going to wait for a fucking BMW indicating at last minute prick. People say learner drivers are bad and L players and CBT riders. Fuck off, are we? Nowhere near as bad as them cunts. What is this prick doing? Could have got a fucking tank through there, cunt. <laughs> Another thing, <laughs> I haven't done its warranty service. I was supposed to do it over a hundred miles ago and what's the point I could do it myself I know enough about bikes I know what I'm doing to look after a bike yeah if something goes wrong parts are gonna cost me more that's to be expected isn't it it's just one of those things this bike just feeds through corners I love it I got a bit cheeky on my last, my last video? No, the video before. And I asked <laughs> Lex Moto, because they sent me a gift pack thing, gift box thing, for um, winning something on Facebook, basically. I got a bit cheeky, I replied to their comment and asked them to send me a CP1 exhaust. <laughs> oh, I bet they don't know. I bet they don't. It was a bit cheeky to ask. And if they do, then more power to them. The customer service has been second to none for me anyway. Yeah. Oh, here's something. The company, Lexmoto, I'm assuming it's because they've done so well with this bike. They've announced a new color scheme. So it's going to be blue like the other one but instead of having a white frame it's got a grey frame so blue grey and basically silver so blue and silver fairings grey frame it is it grey frame might be a blue frame either which way it looks fucking stunning and if I weren't so 
keen on the red, I'd have probably traded it in. I wouldn't have traded it in. That's a lie. Bareface lie. Oh, ooh. I love the way this bike throws you into the into the tank, basically. Ready? <laughs> Such a child. <laughs> 